Hey guys, welcome back to another adventure of Crave Life. I am back in Shenzhen, China. Today is gonna be a little bit different. It's an adventure whether I can actually go and find a street food breakfast for a really low cost. I'm in a city that real estate costs an unbelievable amount of money, $20,000 per square meter. But let's just go down into a very expensive city and see what's breakfast gonna cost on the street. And then I'm gonna compare that. What's it gonna cost me to buy a cup of coffee at kind of a name brand coffee shop? I've been eating here at the hotel, which cost approximately, I think it's around $20 for a breakfast. If you're working in the city, you're probably not gonna be spending $20 a day on breakfast. Chances are you're gonna be doing what I'm about to do. Here it is, beautiful China, out for a breakfast run. Boy, this guy almost, uh, almost lost it, lost it there. That was close. I'm just gonna head over to, it's called Wachong Plaza. That's where I'm headed. Appears to possibly be some food. It's really a city that never sleeps. This looks really, really good. Six RMB. That's getting a little expensive. And I think I found the spot that I'm gonna get some nice Chinese breakfast to my left. It looks like um, they're selling these uh, quesadilla looking things. Uh, I think I'm gonna go try one. I wonder what that would cost. How you doing? You have more of this? Yeah. Got more? I'll wait for a fresh one. Want to say hi to the camera? Alright, hi there. Ni hao. <laughs> to look at things. I'm not sure what they're called. I don't know. You just normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Cost four you win. Thank you. Shit, shit. All right, guys. Here we go. Anybody know what this is? Love to know what I'm about ready to eat here. All right, All right guys. Let's give this Chinese breakfast a go. Okay. I got myself a couple little mini chopsticks. Uh, yeah. Let me tell you what I think of it. Okay, not bad at all. I would say uh, something down the lines of definitely a quesadilla. It's a dough that's um, fried and covered with spices. Well, that was amazing, guys. Really enjoyed it. Breakfast in Shenzhen, China is totally possible and it's totally worth it. The further you get out of the city, the lower the price gets. Beats 20 bucks at the hotel. Highly satisfying. Well, that was appetizing. Now I just a walk through the Wai Chong Square, I believe is what this is called. Great music plan. We got these little lookouts right here. This 
guy gonna be okay? For the comparison, I think it's time to go grab a quick cup of coffee and see what a cup of coffee costs in China. Got a Starbucks right here. I think I'm gonna go with a 16 ounce Americano. That's what I always get back home. Hi there, uh, could I get a uh, Americano? 16 ounce, yeah, like this, this size is okay. Yeah, it's hot. 28 RMB for a coffee. It costs 28 RMB, spending 350 for a cup of coffee after I just spent 75 cents on breakfast. What's wrong with me? But uh, anybody else out there that does that? What do you spend per coffee per day? $5, $6, $10? Let me know in the comments below. Shisha. Pretty normal, actually. I'm trying to rain outside now here, so I've got to navigate back to the hotel and try not to get soaked. Cool thing is you can actually navigate through these uh, downtown areas without getting wet. Anyhow, Chinese folks are really friendly. They really are. They're great folks. They are uh, different drivers than we are. I'll tell you that much. Don't cross a street and expect the cars to stop because they might not stop. Cars have the right of way here. Whether that's the official rule or not, that's been uh, my observation. Anyways, back to the hotel almost. That's gonna conclude this short little fun adventure. Did you guys have fun on that? I did. That's how you make breakfast runs fun. Go out and get creative about breakfast. I might be in a good steward of my earnings, spending 350 on a cup of coffee when I can eat for 75 cents? I don't know, am I? Could you guys uh, give me your thoughts on that? All right guys, back at the hotel. Wasn't that great? Just a fun little adventure in Shenzhen, China over breakfast. That's it, there's, there's nothing really to it. You know, I went back and looked at the conversion rate and actually four RMB is 57 cents. So I just had breakfast for 57 cents and I went and bought a cup of coffee for 28 RMB, which let me tell you really quick. 28 RMB, $4 and five cents. Oh my goodness. Breakfast for 57 cents coffee for four dollars and five cents let that sink in for a minute are we um am i managing the money correctly i mean who would spend 405 for a cup of coffee when breakfast costs 57 cents now if i was a factory worker in china these are pretty much the kinds of um, places you eat you watch your money and for 57 cents you can have breakfast you know, when you're on a $500 a month salary, that's the kind of places I would be eating. There's nothing wrong with what I just experienced down there. That was actually good. It was basically a pizza crust with a spicy topping on it. Just to show you guys how it can be done in China in a city where real estate costs millions of dollars. They still have breakfast that costs 57 cents. And of course, you still can buy your $4 plus cup of coffee. Write me a comment below. Let me know what you think. If there's things that you see that can be translated, sometimes people are speaking in Mandarin or Cantonese to me that I do not understand. Anybody who can explain, hey, that guy at this uh, point of the video said this or that would be awesome. If you haven't subscribed already, please remember to do that. Hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Adventure more and great life.